Good morning, friends. Good morning. My name is Tapi, and I'm glad to be here. Today, I would like to inform you about the importance of water. And my speech will be divided into three parts. The first part is about the water itself, and then the second part is about the function of water, and then the last part is about how to maintain water in our body to make it healthy. Okay, first of all, let's use our imagination. Imagine if the air has no water. What do you think about it? Yes, I think something terrible will be happening, and then it will be dangerous and bad for our life. That is why we need water. Water is vital for our life. And then, what is water? Water is a chemical compound that contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And each atom here has connected each other. So, people also call it as H2O. And also, water is liquid. And then next, I will explain you about the function of water. But actually, there is a lot of function of water. Today, I will focus on the function of water for our body. Okay, the first function is about maintaining body temperature. You know, sometimes our body temperature goes high and low. For example, if we have sick or cold, maybe our body temperature goes high. And then, the second function is it delivers nutrients and oxygen through cell or our body. It delivers from our head to food and other things. And then the last function is it helps in metabolism. That is why water is very important for our body. Water is also vital for our body. Okay. Last but not least, I will give you two tips to maintain water in our body. The first tip is you can drink seven or eight glasses of water every day. And then the second tip is maintain. I will explain you this problem. Uh, maintaining here means that you know that a day contains of 24 hours and at least only 15 hours that is important or effective. The rest of it is our sleeping time. So, for example, if today is 11 a.m., at least we need to drink three glasses of water because every 2.5 hours we need to drink two or three glasses of water. And then the conclusion is we have to use water carefully and wisely. I end my speech here. Thank you.